Hello children good morning welcome back to the next video of english literature class how are you all hope you are fine there well this is the first class of july and i know you are so eager to start today's class before starting our class let's have a silent prayer so students do you remember what we have studied in the last class yes we have discussed the workbook activities from the chapter ice cream man and we have discussed about the describing words or adjectives and now it's time to start today's class before starting our class let's have a small look at the last day's follow up activity okay so you have to watch and listen carefully and take your workbook and pencil with you so uh in the last class i gave you a follow up activity regarding the describing words but most of the students didn't send me back the follow up activity so i think uh, it's better to discuss the follow up activity here last class i gave you a follow up activity to find out the three describing words for the nouns boy and girl so these are the probable or imaginative describing words for the nouns boy and girl so first of all boy tall clever naughty tall boy clever boy naughty boy okay so let's discuss the next girl beautiful adorable smart beautiful girl adorable girl smart girl okay so i hope you got the idea If you have any difficulties or any suggestions or any feedbacks you have to inform me okay so without wasting much time let's discuss today's workbook activities so the first one g section select the rhyming pairs from the box so here are certain words are given in a box and we have to find out six pairs of rhyming words i know you are very familiar with the rhyming words rhyming words means the words which ends with the same rhyme hmm? most of the times uh, we could see the rhyming words in forms right so here first of all you have to pronounce the words and then you will find the rhymed words along with the words okay so first of all just have a look wood call is there any rhyme no hilly no chilly yes hilly and chilly have rhyme so hilly and chilly would be rhyming words like that we have to find out the rhyming words or the rhyming pairs from the box okay so let's check the answers so the first one wood good second one humble jumble third one rocks hops fourth one hilly chilly fifth one call ball sixth one play way so see all the words ends with the same rhyme wood 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 good wood wood sound and humble jumble humble humble right so like here all the words rhyme with each other and these six rhyme pairs are the right answers so you have to write it down in your rough book is it rough book no you have to write it in your workbook because i know you got the workbooks so you have to write these answers in your workbook with a pencil okay so let's look at the next activity underline the describing words in the sentences given below pick what each of them describes so in the last class we have discussed about the describing words or adjectives and i am sure that you have discussed uh, about the describing words or the different kinds of adjectives in your grammar classes right adjectives of quality adjectives of quantity like that okay so here we have certain sentences and we need to identify 
what kind of description is that or what kind of adjective is this okay hello varun are you feeling well today so the options age state quality so we already know that the describing words are trying to describe the noun the noun will be noun will be a place a object a person a state anything etc okay so here these are the questions first sentence hello varun are you feeling well today second one priya helped the old lady cross the road third one this skirt is pretty fourth one if the rope is short it will not reach the end fifth one the, the gay cat is sleeping on the mat sixth one elephants are huge animals seventh one my sweater is soft eighth one mrs hudson is very helpful so these are the sentences and the options are also there and the only duty is you have to tick the right one okay let's have a look at the answers first one hello varun are you feeling well today so the noun is feeling so feeling well so the well describes the feeling so it means state so the answer is state so shall we look at the second sentence priya helped the old lady cross the road so what is the noun here yes lady is the noun here and old lady old lady means yes it denotes the age of the lady so age is the answer there and moving to the third one this skirt is pretty this skirt is pretty actually we are describing the appearance of the skirt so appearance is the right answer so you have to tick it down with the pencil okay so moving to the next sentence if the rope is short it will not reach the end so this sentence is about the length of a rope so here shape size speed are the options and the right answer is size okay so moving to the next sentence the gray cat is sleeping on the mat the gray cat is sleeping on the mat so what is the noun here or what is the subject here yes cat is a subject here and the describing word gray denotes the color of the cat so the color is the answer hope you got the idea let's move to the next sentence elephants are huge animals elephants are huge animals so what does it mean or what is does it describe yes it describes the size of the elephant so size is the answer here did you get the idea okay so moving to the next sentence my sweater is soft my sweater is soft sweater is a kind of dress which is used during winter season so the soft describes about the sweater and how can we identify the softness when we touch an object we could feel whether it is soft or hard so my sweater is soft is denotes touch so the answer is touch so the last sentence mrs hudson is very helpful actually in this sentence the quality of that person is described so the answer is obviously quality so these are the sentences and its answers i hope you got the idea you have to do it now in your workbook okay so moving to the next thing yes it's time to discuss today's follow up activity i know you are so eager to listen about today's follow up activity i have to remind one thing that you have to do all the follow up activities by yourself and you need to send me all the weekly follow up activities okay so we are going to discuss today's follow up activity so actually this follow up activity is from your workbook itself and the f part write a short report on your favorite ice cream you may use the hints given below 
so this is a simple task for you already we discussed in that chapter ice cream man about your favorite ice cream and now it's time to discuss about or write about your favorite ice cream so the hints for the uh, writing a paragraph is given here my favorite flavor why i like it how often i have it so you have to mention about your favorite flavor of ice cream and what's the reason behind you like that ice cream and how often i have it okay i hope you got the idea you have to write this in simple sentences without anyone's help okay so this is all about today's class uh, we will discuss the rest of the workbook activities in the next class thanks for watching we will see you in the next class stay safe at your home thank you